I've been, been I've been saying, look, if the Saudi want Saudi filthy, and I, culturally, I don't think they do want Saudi filthy. But if they did want Saudi filthy, we're going. Yeah, but see, if you get if you get a million pound now, how, how much are we getting out of this? You. Well, 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 listen, I'm sitting here at PK Miles, Dan, Jordi and myself with Lumos and Dazza backstage. You better talk up. How much are you giving us? Me and Poet will have a chat. What? We'll look at the mill. We'll see what's left. No, 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 no. You know this hat doesn't go with nothing of your own as well. Have you seen your glasses? Because <laughs> <laughs> even I, don't, have you been wearing them the whole time? Have I been speaking to you? And you've been wearing those. They change colour. After 6 pm, it goes green. Even the hat as well. Oh! Are we talking about hats here? Yeah? Cool, say no more. The hat, the hat is like. The hat's crazy. You it's, know? it's giving like South End on No, it, it, it gives like free or toddler. <laughs> <laughs> now you, lot, you lot are looking at the wrong TV. The TV's over there. What the hell is that? That's true. What is that? Tell us. This, this is not. This is nothing. <laughs> It's something. You tell us what it is. Do you know what it is? No, I don't. What is it? But that Pigot, do you know what is it is? Is that Burberry? No. I just know it's a soup. I like it. That is Dazza's alternative blazer inside out. What? That's Dazza's blazer. <laughs> yeah. That's always wearing, that, that that wearing a bright blue blazer, bro. Yeah, he brought two. So and hold he on. asked which one he should wear. Is that the inside of the jacket? That's the inside yeah. out, yeah. That's yeah, like, you remember out. Fresh Prince season yeah. one when he used to wear his jacket inside yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he, went to, when he goes to school. Yeah. yeah. I, can't I can't believe this fits Dazza, though. Yeah, no, but the sleeves don't hassle. I mean, I'm taller than Dazza, though. <laughs> Let me see the other side. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that two pockets? <laughs> two pockets. <laughs> <laughs> two pockets and <laughs> stains. Ah, why you doing that like that? What is this? That's probably that's probably a, that's probably a mint. This is this the tag? <laughs> the, the the electric tag. Oh, what is that though? No, what is that? What? The, in your hand now. This this is the electric tag. Specs told me. You um, didn't pay for it. Specs told me Dazzle was mad at him this weekend. Why? It's even damp as well. That's the dry cleaner tag. The yellow tag. That's dry cleaners. Yeah. I can't believe you cleaned this. <laughs> 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 this kind of thing you throw away. This is like a funeral. This is what you wear to a funeral. Like last minute, an auntie that you didn't like, you weren't gonna go to the funeral and you gotta find something quickly. <laughs> an auntie you didn't like. I might do that now, all gold party. I, are we in that era anyway? No, you're in that age group. Of what? Wearing all the same color to a party. No, no, no. Um, Of wearing like, wearing it once. Oh, that's fast fashion, yeah. No, I, 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 I wore something, I wore it twice. And then one girl was like, I've seen, I've seen, <laughs> she said, I've seen this before. Uh, was it a statement piece though? Was it like a, it was a statement piece. Yeah. That's the thing with him. You can't, you can't run them again. Like but you have to wait minimum. No, no, it's not even six months. It's like a cage. You have to go for a few. It's not even the time. It's like, if you was on holiday and you dropped that drop on holiday, you can't drop that on your next holiday. If, unless your next holiday is miles away. And then they'll say, why is your next holiday miles away? There's a cheat. There's a cheat code. Filter. What? Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. So if you use it, so if you do it on normal, next one Rio, it looks like you've got two pairs of shorts. <laughs> slightly different colours. I swear that, no one clocks it. I saw on uh, Instagram this weekend actually that some uh, fashion page put up Dan's picture of him wearing Burberry shorts Oi! and a Burberry bag. Oi, that was a good, was a good was fit a cold though. outfit, you know. Cold outfit. Oh, yeah, was it what rappers wore? Oh, yeah, what rappers wore? They fit you a rapper? I can rap. You can, you can. <laughs> I give him the you hat. Can. Let him wear the hat, man. Oh He's yeah, go on, give him the hat. Give him the hat. Go on, Dan. Oh, what hat, Sam? You can wear the hat. You're build, the best rapper. Wear it. Come on, Dan. Come on, build. Hey, let's get a picture mm. of you in that hat. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Like Ghost. In. in your head. They're getting in your head right now. <laughs> What's going on? You might want to take that off. You might want to take that off. What does this mean? <laughs> Who put that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dan has got a big. He's got a big swung, so he can he can wear it. Yeah, yeah, he's got definitely got a big swung. I think so. I believe. I've never seen no videos of. The, uh, oh. Ask him, Dan. Dan, are you, are you got a big swung? Are you blessed? Are you hung low? Are you sure? Positive. Would you say you got? Would you say you got a big swung? I say that like, I'm. Um, yeah, you're telling too many words. <laughs> too many words. Too many words. It depends. I one girl. I, do you know how many inches you are? One girl asked me how many inches am I, and I was like, well, I don't know. I don't think you should know. I don't think you should know. I think when all you. Right, you all right. No. Good. Good. Good question. Yeah. Okay. How? What? What is the measurement? Sky remote. 
Uh, Aston Martin is like a Skyrim wall. That's not big. That, that's not big. That, that's not big, you know. Not the new ones. Yeah, the new ones are small. Nah, but I got a, I got an old school TV. Back, back off TV, <laughs> the whole lot. So she's like, what, how big is it? I was like, Skyrim wall. And she's like, ooh, let me call you back. I was like, rah. What? Never heard from her I again. I think you should surprise him. Just say that you're small and then when you're in the bedroom. Oh my God. That's actually a good idea. Have you, have, have, have you ever been with a girl and she doesn't make, make no, no noise? noise. Like, you know what I mean? Killer. She had sex in the morning before you. <laughs> Somebody already opened that, opened that wardrobe already. I will. <laughs> open. I took a jump around. Well, I, 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 I was in college. She was reading my ID. She, and she said, what, your name's Percy, yeah? She swear I'm flinching. College? College, yeah. So done, yeah. Uh, Miles, um, what inanimate object is comparable in size to your penis? <laughs> a fire stick remote. That's very small. That's a good one. That's a, I like that. I like that. But he's doing the reverse psychology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's trying to go do it in the calm, reverse. Bro. He's, he's, he's calm, desperate. Bro. He's desperate. He just used my, my trick. <laughs> what? Have you um, ever like, had sex with a girl and she just starts going on the phone? Starts Hell no. While you're having sex? That's disrespectful, man. I'm, asking, I, I'm the one that asked the question. No, but I'm, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking it. You're, you're asking it like it's happened. Has it, have you? T, shall I tell them the truth? Tell them your truth. All right, yeah. go. It happens to Seagull, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dan, have you ever been dumped? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, was, have you been dumped? Yeah. But, but my, my dumps <laughs> are by design. Like, my dumps, I'm not... You know, like, when a manager knows it's oh, that's coming. What, that's exactly what he said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like, as in, I, I did it by design. Like, I wanted to get dumped, but I don't want to dump you. Do you remember the era when Lumos got dumped? You don't, like, you got dumped, like, three times that summer. <laughs> Getting dumped's crazy. You're a good man. You can, <laughs> Getting dumped's crazy in, in your... You can't get dumped now. In 2023, is this child is getting dumped now. I got dumped in person. Uh, in person? Yeah, yeah, as in, like, I would, if I was going to dump someone, I would do it without eye contact. Via text. text. You're dumped. Just, yeah, I'm not sure if it's working. And then just slow replies for a few weeks to realize we're not together. I think, I think getting dumped without the text and just action, like coming back from my eye napa and seeing bags outside the house. My so you know what time it is. I think my that's the best ex dumping. made me, I bucked her on Regent Street. Oh my God. And she, with tears in her eyes, yeah. behind like the back of Reason Street, like where one extra is. Oh, wow. oh okay. Was she leaning on the tree? <laughs> 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 giving out CDs. <laughs> this years ago, Waiting for yeah? Semtex. <laughs> <laughs> Guys looking around like, well, get, get off the tree. She's crying. Why? Cause she's breaking up with me. Cause she loves me, but she knows that it happens, man, I can't there. be with you anymore. Oh, like, look at, why is Dan trying to make it cool? <laughs> but I'm looking in like in a minute she, she's going to tell crying. us how famous she was <laughs> no she was famous okay <laughs> but she's a fan favourite where did you get dumped what, what, what reminds you of your dumpage um pain what, what? <laughs> <laughs> I put it I put it on <laughs> get the <laughs> cat put it, get in the cat fire, fire stick fire stick <laughs> fire stick man I knew it was coming I cheated didn't it I said this story but she cheated she found out she cheated I cheated and she found out. So I knew it was coming, man. You but after, though, after a couple then. months, it switched like, sh and then she started wanting me back. Uh, <laughs> why do men don't want to make it no, cool? No, 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 but that's, this is it. It's a big decision. This is why you leave it in their hands. You don't dump them. I'm a good guy. Because you know you have to live with that decision. Hey, so Savage, how does people get dumped in 2023 then? Just send a text, man. Fred, Insta, Insta. Because you know, when, 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 when it's happening, <laughs> you know it's already going. Stereo. You know it's already happening. Bro, the dynamics now must be mad I because think you, just, you just get blocked. No, but you've got just so many, you've got so many options on your phone. Yeah. Yeah, it's mad now. Like, it's just like you dump someone at six and you've got a new, you're on their date by eight. By hey, nine. Boys, by I, nine. I just clocked here. Yeah. You know, mummies, they block you on WhatsApp, yeah? Is it? You get but when you put something up on your status, I can see that they've seen it. What's going on? Why are you putting that? Hold on, hold on, wait. Stop, 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 <laughs> what? stop. We can everyone stop. Yeah, everyone. yeah. <laughs> no. Just bring it. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone was at an all-white party this weekend, and now he's putting up WhatsApp status. Yeah, man, I start using my WhatsApp status. Why? Because I want to see what mom, like what, mom, so what, what mummies on my WhatsApp are looking. You're so old. Yeah, man. Today we've uh, convened an emergency meeting. It's the summer. There's no international tournament, but we've got some space to talk about some important things. We were at the forefront of the debate about the European Super League. No one will forget our contribution to that debate. That was a good episode, you know. Super League. But 
with so much going on in the Premier League now, we just I just wanted to bring everyone together and we could talk about the morality and ethics. With so much drama in the LBC. Snoop Dogg. It's kind of hard being Snoop the old double G. But somehow, some way. Sorry, carry on. But girls love BBC. We're going to talk about the morality, ethics and the finances of the Premier League today. Let me just say, uh, kick it off. I think football's finished. No, I'm going to introduce the panel first. Okay. <laughs> From your left or to your right? <laughs> you had to do something. It's football finished. From my left to my right, he's wearing big Daz's inside out blazer. He's recovering still from America. Last time I saw him, his sleep pattern hadn't adjusted to London time yet. I'm hoping it has now. His name's PK Humble, PK Humbility from the 170. You see me? I'm catting. I'm growing my hair. Is it? Mm, not growing it, growing it, but like I'm letting it, I'm letting it flourish. You're gonna do that thing, innit? What, Damson and Indris? Yeah, or, that, like, that spon- just and Quay. Like, just sponge, Miss Sponge. <laughs> You're gonna do it? Yeah. With a fade? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I haven't decided. But when I was in America, a lot of the American girls thought I was American. So I'm thinking, let me grow my hair. I, I, American girls, are, they're still dumb, yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, in North Carolina, I doubt there's that many black British guys showing up in clubs. That's what I'm saying. So when they're seeing me, they're thinking I'm either American or Damson Idris. Mm. Is he? Is he? Is he American? He's from Peckham. Huh? But he's from. He's from the UK. From Peckham. Um, is that the youth that was going out with Laurie Harvey? Yeah. It still is. Yeah. He still is. He says stop talking about his business. Anyone that chats about it, boy, you don't want to buck him, bro. Boy, you don't want to buck Dan. It's gonna be interesting. That is interesting. You think so? I think Damson and Idris will punch up Dan. What is he a fighter? No, oh. <laughs> he's an actor. <laughs> no, no, he's no, no one, yeah. You can tell him anything that about anyone. Nothing, they don't know nothing. <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> oh, I didn't realize how much you loved Dan. You know, hey, Savage. Yeah, that's my guy, man. <laughs> tell them to you. Tell them what he done. Next on the panel, we got a man who got so excited about Dan showing up at the door today. What a guy! I, I messaged Dan two minutes before. Dan said, "I'm just outside." So when I met Miles by the door, I said. Miles, that door's about to go and it's Dan. Can you get it? He, he goes over to the door when it buzzes. I hear him scream, yelp, scream. <laughs> and then the door opens and he goes, T, it's Savage. <laughs> <laughs> and Dan just walked past him. Mr. Spud and all that. Just walked through and said, boys, wild one. <laughs> His name's Miles Fearon. AKA Wiles, AKA the best looking guy on YouTube. Savage Dan is my guy, man. I love him. <laughs> Dan, say something back. Like, you can't you just stay? You can't just stay quiet. Yeah. That, that's how you get dumped in 2023. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy's not being reciprocated. Sometimes the best movement is no movement. Oh, my God. Next on the panel, uh, I feel like Miles just did his intro for him, but we will anyway. He's flying with Boxer. He's making a lot of headlines flying around with his fights and his fighters and, and his events that are going on. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. A lot of negative press. A lot well. of negative press, but that's boxing. Happened. Boxing's going to have negative press, but you're putting on the fights people want to see, and that hasn't happened for a few years, so momentum's building. His name's Savage Dan. Yeah. I am, I am a little bit rattled about the job I just turned down. You think you can put someone forward and they'll get it? And then take a commission. Yeah, man. We should start that. I think I know what this shortlist is. <laughs> he knows what the shortlist is. Like, I think I know. Like when I, when I look at a job description, there are some names I expect to see who like, I, I should be lost in this. And I probably am. But <clears throat> if you give them the right price, then you're first. You know who we're talking about. Them kind of, yes, guys. <laughs> we're going to be there. Come with me. You got the club, you got the club, <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the panel, his name is Jordy, not Jordan. The Love Ting new series on his channel. He's basically done with it by now, but Ooh. it was to promote his new R&B music, which is very good listening. Yeah, because I'm in love. With? Life. But I also got my now, wonder so you wouldn't make a song about that. Yeah. Well, I can't make a song about being in love with life. No, I'm listen to it. Rick Ross did that. When? Last night I cried tears of joy. Yeah. That was what did about I do to deserve, deserve this? this? Come on, T, man. That's about yeah, life, Come man. on, T. Check your mirrors, T. No, nah, but that's not about loving life. What's that about loving? About loving all this success. That's different. That's life. That's it's life. life. I love my life because of the success I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> and he's getting paid. That's a lie. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> anyway, yes, guys. My name is Jordy, not Jordan. Talk to me important. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Next on the panel, a man who's like, never- You go to this me. You go to this Never me. been to the Bronx. Oh, around a toddler's hat. No, I've been to um, I've been to the Bronx. New Jersey. 
Yeah, I've been New Jersey. Have you been to New Jersey? Yeah. Was in New Jersey 2011? Way before you, bro. Why would you be in New Jersey? <laughs> in 2011? That's <laughs> random. I'll tell you why. what. Would we come in? You see, look, what you understand. Go to City Mirrors, man. What's the word we come on? You can get, you can get uh, two religion jeans for $90. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I remember them outlets. Yeah, them outlets were mad. Yeah. So I went there. I so went you there, went man. to Jersey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But boys, um, even though I'm your biggest hater to you, I thought to myself, you know what? I was in a shop today. I see Greg. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this one. This, this thing, this is the only time I'm doing it. And I thought, you know what? You've been getting a little stick lately. I don't think I've been getting any stick. Yeah, well, you do get stick. Behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 you, I decided that you know what you do. I'll give you your flowers, man. Yeah, I mean, we, since when do we give flowers? So you take your flowers. Tea, Come on, man. I, I, I couldn't reach them, Jordy. I don't want to give. That's it. for you too, man. I, I don't want to give it to you. That I've never seen that? flowers that's at that, that price. Oh, T, T. Sorry, we can't we can't leave the bag in there. <laughs> that's the extra ten p, thirty p. Actually, I got hay fever. That's not a good idea. Who's got a cup? This is not, this is not a joke. This is me being serious. Did you just say who's got a cup? Yeah, I put some. <laughs> what? Put it in the air up, bro. Thank you for everything, Tigo, man. Thanks, guys. And you're wearing blue everything. Yeah, you know why? Why? You wearing yeah. different blues as well. Yeah, yeah. of course, bro. Turquoise, baby blue, <laughs> ocean blue. What color? What color are your socks? Blue as well, turquoise. Aye, oh. aye, you're like a nine year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing. Why are you laughing? Your socks are sh- why you laughing? You you're not matching nothing, bro. Did you see my socks? Go on, let me see your socks. Go on. Benjo. Go on, go on. Oh. Oh. Can Benjo do this in 30 minutes? No, <laughs> <laughs> it takes him six years. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Even his tongue is blue as well, bro. I, I, <laughs> his tongue is blue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And my pubes are blue as well. You ready? What's up, man? Move. You sure? Move, move. Mm, you sure? Oh hey, it's got a belt on there. It's got a belt <laughs> on the trousers. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's got a belt on your trousers. In I wonder what. I wonder what shorts, bro. Boys, I have ten. How much? One Pizza. more time. I don't understand what these shorts are. Uh, Cause look at no, look at the waist bit as well. Uh, you look like you should have a scooter, like, <laughs> and not an electric scooter. Come on, one of the shorts, please, someone. Like <laughs> <laughs> them Prestos are bad, man. Oh, they Prestos. Those Prestos are bad. They're like school uniform shorts. It looks like he goes private school. I think I, I, I went up to the mirror today. I thought, wow. No, no, we thought we thought we wow. thought wow. Yeah. Thought, wow. <laughs> I've been thinking wow about that hat for a while. <laughs> Wait, this hat? Yeah. Why? It's not a good hat. Yeah, but you know where it's from, innit? <laughs> spell, it back, spell it backwards. Spe- spell it backwards. Go on. X A M K T. Two floors. Two X's. Actually. <laughs> Two floors. <laughs> Two pound, you should have wore a Rafi. You should have wore a Rafi. You should have wore a Rafi T-shirt as well. Have you seen the one on ones? Right, you pull off in the short. Stand up. <laughs> stand up. Hey, St- hey, stand up. We're laughing at shorts. Well, so how? You- <laughs> the sky. <laughs> the sky. <laughs> The sky! Oh my god! Oh, you, how you laughing at my shorts? I look at the blue on the. Uh, come on, bro! I, I, this place is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you want me to get changed? Oh, I'm getting changed. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no specs. One sec, one sec. Is anyone interested in seeing Dan stand up or what? Oh yeah. Dan, no, but mine, mine actually is a kit. Go stand on. up, Dan. Dan, why are you? Uh, Dan, that's not the Brazil kit. That's not the Brazil kit, Dan. That's pajamas. That's pajamas. <laughs> Dan, you wear pajamas. Jordy's played it safe today. What? Well, I'm in power. I'm, I'm just powered up. <laughs> Ah, you go, you go. No, no, this I, I can't see it, but it's like it. it it's essentials. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, yeah. yeah, everyone's in sets. You're not, you're not in shorts. I'm gonna track it. I'm gonna track it. That's not a set. That's not a set. That's two different grays. No, it's a tracky. I got the tracky. I got the tracky downstairs. The hat looks like you're making a major political statement or something. Exactly. I've never seen someone match with a mic. <laughs> 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 Boys, is football finished? Yes. Yes. Class. It's become Class finished. Now. I see today <laughs> Chelsea verge. are in the process of selling uh, Ziyech, Koulibaly and Edouard Mendy to Saudi Arabia. Now, that might not be too fascinating, except when you realise that the group that Todd Bowley is in charge of has uh, stakeholders in it who are part of the public investment fund in Saudi Arabia. Oh, 
it feels less and less like we're playing on an even playing field in football. There is now. no even playing field. Nah, it hasn't been an even playing field since Mourinho came in, and, and Mourinho with um, Abramovich. Abramovich hasn't been even since then. Jeff Bezos is next to buy a club. I don't think he 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 can't compete with Saudis and Qataris, and that. What they were to them? But they've got play play by no rules. It's it's all down to um, UEFA. No, it can't. It can't Why? carry on. I what think it's a big part. Lock. Yeah, yeah. If UEFA locks out the Saudi league or the Saudi Arabians from like, Why would they do that? I'm just because I think the only thing that's holding European football together right now is the Champions League. That's the most prestigious cup other than the World Cup. Footballers will still stay in the leagues, the the the, the leaguers, the Italian league, the Premier League. Because ultimately they want to play in the Champions League. No, what do you mean into the chat? They can't play in our Champions League. Yeah, I, I say that. You say that, Savage Dan, but it's 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 a sanctioned body. Well, there's three different Champions Leagues, no? There's the Asia one. There's the and well, money will get money can like buy I'm you saying, into the Champions money League. Money can buy you into the Champions League. You reckon? Are you telling yes. me we can see Arsenal versus Al Hassan in the Champions League soon? Just, like I said, the Saudi League is cool. It's not cool. It is what it is. I don't have an opinion on it because it's happened before. The money they're throwing around is crazy. It happened with China, remember? The issue, exactly. The issue, and it's not sustainable. The issue to talk about at this point as football fans as we are because you support a team that doesn't have a Saudi Qatari, doesn't have a crazy billionaire owner, right? Manchester United are allegedly about to get owned by the Qatari royal family. Um, Manchester City, we know, are deep in this whole thing. Newcastle now have a sponsor on their shirt, which is a company that is 100% owned by Saudi uh, Public Investment Fund. So it's basically just sponsoring themselves the way that City have been doing. Their sleeve sponsor is Noon.com, which is 50% owned by uh, Public Investment Fund. The money in the Premier League now is, and England needs this money, we're, we're all outside, we sell expensive last game. England needs his money, so it can't start turning it away. But what does an Arsenal or a Liverpool or a Tottenham do to actually compete when Chelsea can give Enzo Fernandez a 10 year deal and then write it off because they say, if you, according to FFP, we've only paid 10 million a year for him? Well, the, well, the way I'm looking at it is the more teams that are by, if someone comes and buys Man United, surely someone's going to try and buy Arsenal, Tottenham, and the rest of them, right? But if you, if you if if all those teams are getting owned, then Arsenal owners sit there and just go, these are great dividends that are paying out because all the money in this league, and we can sell Bakaya Saka now for five hundred million. We can sell Martin Odegaard for four hundred. Then maybe million. okay, maybe they, maybe it's time to, to have a Super League it for is. all of this yeah, big stuff. Well, we're really in the Super League. Though. This is the Super League, though. The Premier League. It's, Super league. it's time to take Arsenal. All the teams that are owned by billionaires, they go in their own league. Yeah, Billi we're billionaires. We tried to do that. No, let's do it. It's, it's got to be done now. It should have been done back then. It should have been done now. But we're, we're basically in the Super League. The Premier League is the Super League of all leagues. No, it's not. Because, it is, it is. No, because Burnley, but when Burnley come in next in the Premier League and now you got to play Arsenal, if Arsenal are owned by a Qatar, it's not, it's not, that's not fun to watch. Yeah, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just talking about financially. It's the Super I'm League. Though. Take all the financial teams out of the Premier League and put them with PSGs and all. No, these that's other a, that's a crybaby thing. That's You're being a crybaby. You're being a cry. You lot being crybabies. Why? Why? Because that's football, that's life, that's every with, within everything, bro. With, within within everything, bro. Life's not fair. That, it's hyper capitalism. Because now people it's just what people are gonna say. Oh yeah, our podcast should stop because we have got nice cameras. They can't get. They can't. They're doing it on their phones. Like what? Are you gonna? You can't cry, right? So should we, should we come off YouTube? No, but hold on, hold on, and, hold go, on. and go on Spotify with just, just, just free people. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, if a, if a, if a, if a Saudi Arabian comes, shut here, up, man. Everyone around football in this country is gonna make more money in some way or another because, because of the investment. But with in, within any league, you're going to have teams that even go down to non-league. You have teams that have more money than other but teams. This is, no, but this you is have way Sunday more money. Teams. This is way bro, more money. Bro, you have Sunday nah, teams there's way more that money. pay All I'm saying players is and billionaires, that don't. Billionaires don't, they're not billionaires because they just squander money for too long. Eventually. Roman Abramovich lost 900,000 pounds a week as Chelsea owner. Of course it would look like that on the books. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> exactly what I'd say as well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, as in like, it's not, we all know what this is. Money's squirreled away here and there's that. And nothing's exactly as it seems. And that like, we know the numbers that are on these websites and what's in the papers and all of that. We know it's, it's not a real it, number. It's, it's like, not. That's the skeleton. Our numbers like, are zero. Absolute, exactly. It's nowhere near. So I'm saying, how long is this actually sustained? Is this like just for now? Like get your money whilst you can. Because this can't last for long. So look, that's a good point. It's a good point. It's, it's a good point because what Chelsea did in the in January when they signed everyone to these long contracts, right? That was because the FFP said that 
if your contract's long, then we value your investment based on the length of the contract. Yeah. So if you sign a player for 100 million with a 10 year contract, it's gonna be a lot less than signing someone for 100 million on a five year contract because the value decreases every year, right? Which is lawyer talk. The FFP went in and lawyers figured out this smart way of doing it. As of this summer, you can't do that now. They closed that loophole. So they're well, they closed it just now. Just yeah, now. Chelsea, Chelsea back yeah, it they no, just, 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 Is that just, why just. they were giving man eight year deals and these? So you can't give eight year deals no more? You can, but, the, but FFP only counts for five years now. So they're closing these loopholes as they come along. So they clearly are acknowledging that there's an issue. But then you've got Manchester City who uh, had all those charges with UEFA, right? When are they getting sentenced? And UEFA basically can only investigate what Manchester City give them. That's their rule. <laughs> so there was a leak of emails That's a joke. from Manchester City staff basically saying that we're paying a manager under the table. The, a lot of this is ropey, a lot of this is illegal. UEFA said, we can't see that because Man City didn't give it to us. Yeah, exactly. So the, all the charges that UEFA had on them, you remember they had, they had the two year ban yeah. from Europe, they had the fine. The, the ban got overturned because so much time had gone past that in UEFA's rules, it's void. Yeah. It's, just, it's, 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 it's past the statute of limitations. Time. And they got like their fine reduced to like 8 million. Now the Premier League are charging them with similar things, but the Premier League have said, those leaked emails, we can have them. UEFA said, we can't acknowledge them. We can only take but what, what does it tell you about the head of the snake? Yeah. So you're saying that there's a possibility that all of this can just come down? I'm saying at the top of everything- John Goy. There's, there's, there's corruption. Like, that's it. Like when it's all said and done, that's it. Like this is, you, mon the money's in the money. At the top of the top, you, could just, you can just manipulate it however you want. So El Ch this is El Chapo stuff going on. When Arsenal now want to compete with those teams, they have a set amount they're allowed to spend and a set amount they're interested in spending. But once they figure out, we can't compete with them on those terms, they might spend a little bit more. They might mortgage their future a little bit more. Same with Liverpool, same with Leeds, same, same with Tottenham. Barcelona. Same with Barcelona. So they start mortgaging the future of the club, the future of the fans' interests on trying to keep up with these guys. And they turn and into you, Berry. And you turn, you go out of business. You become Berry, you get relegated to League Two. Why, why do you have to, why, why, why does Arsenal have to, why can't Arsenal go down another route? That's not how capitalism works. It's capitalism. I, I've talked about this. It's illegal. No, capitalism is law now. It's that's gambling. it, it's here. That's it, who's got the most bread? That's, got the that's most literally what this is now. Before it used to be about, you, you get, me, get, as much, get as many wins as you can, win the league, win it, get your 20 million pounds, and now you can build your stand, and now you can do this, and now you can, now the money comes from just anywhere, anywhere. Do you think footballers are seeing that now? I'm thinking, okay, cool. They're not glorifying, okay, winning the Premier League because only a handful of teams are going to win the Premier League, like the Man Cities or the Man United or the Liverpool. So therefore, someone like Ruben Neves, he's saying, okay, cool. I might not ever play Champions League in my life. I might not ever not... Yeah, but what, what do you, I'm just saying, I might not ever yeah. win the Premier League. So a team like Saudi coming in for me and paying me, I don't know, 500 or 300 bags a week. It's, it's appealing to him now. You, 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 it's appealing anyway. Do you think I would care no, I about care. winning the Champions League no. whilst on 80 grand mil. a week? Yeah, <laughs> like, do you think I, I would care. care? I would care. No, no I'm talking care. even from 18, whatever, at the beginning of my career, I can go to a team where I'm pretty much guaranteed to win the Champions League, but they can only pay me 100 grand a week. Mm -hmm. And then there's that team from God knows where. Well, it could be anywhere. And they could, they're paying me 400 racks Probably a it's year. more than that. To just to just play in front of seven. But, okay, but you was <laughs> you was in Saudi and you you lot were saying in the boxing that no one reacts to anything. It's a different culture. Yeah, it's no a different noise. culture. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, yeah. But they're not used to seeing it. I'm saying I'm following the money. When Oscar went there, have you seen, I ain't seen Oscar since. It doesn't Chelsea. matter. Oscar's bread is no so views. long. Okay. I understand, but he's got no views. If you get two emails right now, two different jobs, yeah? One, you actually, you, you love it. Like, this is right up your street, but it pays you this. And then the other one's just like, mm, you know you're gonna have to be doing the, hey guys, welcome to, but it's, they're paying you four, five times the amount. You're taking I'm that I'm not gonna job. take it. What's happening to the league now? There's inflation because there's players that are getting sold for the stupid it's, amount it's of money. It's always like this, but it's yeah, only but, like but this when's it gonna bit. stop though, Savage? No, it, no, I'm saying somebody, at, whenever someone starts throwing a checkbook around, Somebody, somebody's getting bumped somewhere at all times. So what happened to capital gains tax? Like, don't these guys, where, where does the tax man come in and say, hold oh, on? Your timing's fantastic, you know. Um, so when the Newcastle takeover, it's a good example 
Um, the 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 Newcastle the board the board ninety percent tax I want the board that got put in charge of Newcastle ninety I said <laughs> the board that got put in charge of Newcastle included two people called the Ruben brothers oh Ruben brothers you're getting tax ninety percent you watch they are major Tory party donors oh okay and the Makes government was sending internal emails saying if anyone protests against this Saudi takeover oh, okay. that's gonna hurt Section our relationship 20. with Saudi oh. so they basically yes. the government of the day are like we will do anything to get this money in money the country. Money is law. Don't you get it? Mon like money is actually convincing the Tory government to not oppose a decision over a football club. This is deeper than football. It's nothing to do this is nothing to do with football. This where's the Rothschild? Where are the Rothschilds? What saying? we love, we just like going and getting the ball and <laughs> 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 what? Is they all the rich people. No, just, they, they are. They're the but they are they're, they're on they're, they're on, the richest, bro. They're on the other side. Michael Buffer uh, has a lot of Saudi money. Of course he does. There's money, money, money. This is the thing. We're, football Even now golf is now. in a conversation with golf, PGA golf, live golf, all that. Cricket was in a conversation with the Ruben brothers, Saudi princes. Cricket, Cr bro, cricket. They've sorry, they've invested big money in cricket. 2020. That's bad news to store. Big by the way. money in cricket. But that now, now money and big scale money is a conversation in football. It, the question, uh, there's a lot of people that want to talk politics say, why why are they doing this? And they're sport washing all this conversation. Again, I'm not really interested in it because I don't care if the money's from Saudi. It's not like we could talk about morality in English money and morality in Is there morality American in money. any, is there, is, where's the morality though? There's but morality. my thing is yeah, when are these Saudi guys going to start booking us for jobs? Because I want to be there saying, hello, I'm at Al Nasser here. Your new shorts, he needs new shorts, come on. Listen, if they get Edouard Mendy, Lukaku, uh, Lukaku, by the way, uh, has been offered to the Saudi club allegedly, and Lukaku said, "I think I've still got more to prove." He in Europe. Into so, uh, yeah, he, uh, that see, that's a dig to Ruben Neves. But me if Mendy, if uh, Koulibaly, if Benzema, if Ronaldo, if Kante, and all these guys yeah, show but up, in those the guys Saudi are the tail of their career, though. But there, but there, there are not there are not great leagues outside of the Premier League and maybe one other European team at a time. MLS, because Messi's going over there. Saka's going Saudi next year. Saka's going Saudi. Watch. See, that's when we have an issue. At the moment, they're buying the names and the people who they know maybe clubs don't really care about. Well, no, the issue them. is that they probably are just bringing them over so that Chelsea can have some money so that Chelsea can clear the FFP. At the moment, they're not even... They're, uh, no, according to this, they don't look that fussed, whether it's Mendy, Ziyech, Kante, whatever. They're just kind of going, That's whatever fine, helps Chelsea. But I'm saying for Saudi, yeah? If Saudi, if, if Saudi are trying to whether it's sports watching or whatever, are they trying to grow their league? They are, yeah. Now, if you're going to do that, there's no point buying players that have 18 months left to play. No, but they're big names though. They're big names, but that, that's how you blow money. Like you've spent 500 mil doing that when really you could have spent 500 mil and you could have got the whole next batch. But look what's happening now. We're having a conversation about it. So, so, so they've, started, they've started it. They've started it. They've bring it in everybody's head. Yeah, exactly. So they've got players... So they've got players like Ruben Neves right now, who's young, 26, who shouldn't be in the Saudi league, going over there now. He's broke. The Saudi league is gonna take so long, so much attention. Like they have to convince the whole world to watch their their product. They can have the best players in the world. They have to convince the whole world to watch their product. If you took everyone from the NBA today and moved them to Finland, that wouldn't make everyone in America watch the Finnish league. That's just not how it will ever work. But but the impact on our league and European leagues is probably what is significant because you say there will be a, a war not a war a battle a a friendly feud between countries in the middle east it doesn't matter where it is geopolitically but it happens to be there manchester united are in the process of being bought by a, a sheikh from qatar six billion so now it's going to have man city against man united in the same newcastle newcastle Chelsea. no but i'm saying like that is qatar versus saudi that's, again that's newcastle and qatar Oh, it is. Yeah. Where's the chairman I know growing up? Kevin Bates, the guy that's on Talk Sport. What's his name? Simon Jordan. Simon, yeah, Jordan. where's all these guys? Two like, things. Jordan's two things. England, 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 England. Jordan couldn't compete, so England's that's why he's mess. talking with these England's, guys on Talk Sport. England's a mess, and it doesn't create proper billionaires. And the other thing is, anyone that's rich in England, they go and. Work, put but their money the, with Saudis the, and Americans. Why America's. does the government work on that? Why forget the, 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 the making the more thing. billionaires? Well, we no, don't need more billionaires. They want. <laughs> I think. Man. I think they wanted Jim Radcliffe to have United, but you, honestly, check money one month one. Well, you, there's no point. It's oil in a free market. There's no point talking about who should and shouldn't be allowed to buy things. Jonathan Ross should be a manager. He should be running a club by now. 
We've had legends even, on TV, boys. Come on, man. They're like brothers that run clubs and that. Yeah. So why don't they get the Dudley brothers to run the club? Which brothers? Which brothers? Do you know the No, nah, do you know the Dudley brothers' names? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, the only one I would trust to run a club is Spike. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a teacher now. He's a teacher. <laughs> he's a teacher. Yeah, he's a, t- he's a no, he's a TA. You lot are very good at moving this conversation in the right direction. Sorry. WW No, this is good. WWE. <laughs> I said sorry. <laughs> It's not meant to, that's why this is filthy. WWE had a sc- when did they not have a scandal? WWE had a scandal last year where Vince McMahon was accused of- Oh yes, he was gonna sell it. Vince McMahon was accused of um, sexual offenses and, and mistreatment of women and, and all these other Didn't things. He, still he had to stand down yeah. from his position, but he was still the owner. It was a publicly traded company at that point, but he was a majority shareholder. He could trigger a takeover at any time, right? As the man in the background. He got cleared of the charges eventually, I think lack of evidence more than anything. <laughs> he came back in, he came back in and went, all right, we're mucking about now, are we? I'm selling it. I'm selling this company. The Saudis who he'd been working with for years, he was ahead of everyone and working with the Saudis. They all said, <laughs> all right, let's talk about it. Now in that time, what he ended up doing, because Saudi is the smart way to go, because they will probably keep you in your job until you die. They're gonna, they, they like the fact that it makes money. They like the live shows that they're Positive doing over PR. there. Positive PR. Positive PR. They want good. you to be the face of it. It's Still be the face. But what he did was he merged with the company that owns UFC because he thought there was more of a dynamic yeah. move that he could make as a business. But that is what a major billionaire in charge of an American sports franchise, not a sports franchise, but yeah. a entertainment entertainment platform. That's what he had to do was merge with another one mm. just to be able to compete with the money that would have been there from, from Saudi and everything else. So you look at Manchester United, Qatar, and Jim Radcliffe and all that stuff. And it's, you can only say it's positive that the Glazers will be out of this country. Even though they won a Super Bowl with their other team. So did so did Stan Kroenke. So Stan Kroenke. Won it with the Rams? Not only did Stan, Stan Kroenke win a Super Bowl, he won a Stanley Cup last year. Yeah. He Hockey. won the NBA championship this year. He won uh, the lacrosse championship. And he also did, he almost won the Prem this year. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he did. One oh, of his friends, he almost did. Almost. No, no, yeah. almost there was is no almost. There, there was no almost. almost. There was no almost anywhere else. He did or he didn't? No, no, almost though. Oh. What does almost mean? Go but in the, but oh. what, does almost, what does almost mean in the English dictionary? It, it means you didn't win it. So what does almost mean? It means you didn't win it. Almost don't exist. We're talking about what you won, you're saying almost. Yeah, almost doesn't exist. <laughs> it would have been something great. Stan Kroenke won the NBA championship paying $17.3 million in luxury tax, which means he was way over the wage bill. The wage cap, and he—that's how he won it. He also won the Stanley Cup with the most wages, the mo- the highest wage team to ever win the Stanley Cup. He did that. Now he's at Arsenal, and Arsenal fans say he's cheap. Don't spend no money. He don't spend no money though. But he don't spend no money compared to Man City. So shouldn't they do a link up then? These guys basically all take five percent or two percent or whatever, just to just to try and fight the the the, the side Maybe guys. somebody, all but there's always that greedy guy. That wants a hundred. I've done business before with people where we say 25, 25, 25, but they just want a hundred. That's in their mind, but they won't tell you. The money will just start going missing. That's the problem. Remember, remember me, you Bro, and Steve O'Reilly? I'm, I'm, I'm having PTSD. <laughs> um, I honestly. T, where's, where's Dave Whelan? What do you, what do you think this, what, what do you think Saudi are trying to achieve here? Because you can't make your money back from this. Hey, this is what this is why I I don't like talking about the politics of it because a lot of people will accuse them of sport washing and, and trying to alter their image. There are human rights issues in Qatar and in Saudi Arabia, but again, that's politics, and I don't really like talking about. Yeah, it but I'm, uh, just just let's, so let's take the politics term. out of it. Uh, are they just trying to have positive PR? I don't think so. I, or do they want to make money from this? I somehow? think if you look at Manchester City and say, okay, Manchester City are spending good money after bad, they'll continue to spend money forever. But ultimately that team, ain't get, it's getting bigger, but it's never going to get so big that it, it pays yeah. itself back. Now, if you're Qatar and you spend six billion on your team, you can sell it in 10 years and probably sell it for 10. If you're oh, okay, Chelsea yeah, owner, you're Qatar, you can yeah. probably sell, like, and that's actually what- Yeah, so like, so like England might have hit its England. peak in terms of what this sport does here. England. Oh, this this territory is <laughs> kind of irrelevant in a way. It is about the international <laughs> expansion. But Todd Bowley and his group, Clear Lake Group, what they do. I missed it. You said England. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't talk. You can't talk serious and say England. England. No. <laughs> England. I don't know. England. Ing- no. 
<laughs> I think it's a jolly up though, man. I feel like they're just doing it like you know, like when rich people go to the races and buy a horse and this, this, this is what they do. The they're yeah, paying yeah, yeah. football manager. Yeah, it's it's a, it's manager. Saudi or your rich brethren? Well, the Middle East has a lot of impact on horse racing. The Middle East has a major investment in. Are they golf. the new China? Are they the new China? Are they the new no, China? they're the China before China. Are they the new China? Are they the new China? China They're doing it bigger than China, man. China, China are just trying to build robots. I now. think no, but Ch China, <laughs> China, have, well, China, have proper like they've patterned up the Caribbean. They've patterned up a lot of Africa. Now they've robbed. They've, they've robbed. They've robbed everywhere. They're not patterning, man. They're not patterning, man. They're, they're, they're not patterning, man. They give man. They give They give man loans with five hundred percent AMPR. No, I'm saying they are patterned. Bro, they're patterned. You know that, bro, they, they, bro, they give you Jamaica. They give you Jamaica Windows ninety eight, and they're saying, yeah, hold that. Yeah, you deserve. You deserve that. Jamaica deserve Windows that you today. What do you today. mean? What do you mean? Nah, bro, we deserve Windows, Windows 20, 2023. Yo, why y'all call this? Of course. Give, uh, take Windows 98, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're giving us bad computers. <laughs> They're giving us bad computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us yeah. bad computers. Every, every second. Why? 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 Uh, take Windows 98, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at, the, at, the, at the immigration, their computers, bro, silly. Bro, well, when silly. we went Saudi, yeah, just to get through, like, Immigration, yeah. You see, like usually, they have the thing on the webcam. top of the screen, the yeah. little webcam too. They take a picture, da da da. But they had black magic. Yeah, <laughs> they did. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, they black had magic. The yeah. Cameras yeah. just to take your. Just to get oh. the picture of like your printout for like you're welcome to the country. Is it yeah. mad? Yeah, it's yes, mental. Yes, Allahs. I think soon a, a a serious player in the prime of his life is gonna go Saudi. That, but that I don't think that would be a big thing now. I, I think, think it will I think do. we've seen Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe waste so many years at Saudi by the Sea in Paris that actually the idea that an, the idea that a Harry Kane or a T Vin Vinicius is going to Saudi. Vinicius going to Saudi wouldn't shock anybody, and also it yeah, would it you would start only, to get the prime boys. But but it wouldn't shock anybody, and it, and the thing about the Champions League and the Premier League is someone will always fill that void. They, it would ha it would take something seismic to draw attention away from this league. The problem we've got here now is people losing interest in it because it's so unfair. I think this is a great opportunity for Harvey Barnes. To go Saudi? No, to just become Vinicius. If them, man, if them man go there. <laughs> There's a lot of those players who go there and just turn up. I think- And they'll be stars. Those players that see the bottom 10, I think should be a separate league. And that's what I think we should be about. Forget that's league two, bro. That's league one. Even championship. If it's championship. That's, I want to watch Everton versus Burnley. Josh Sims versus Elliot Sims. Yeah, do yeah. you know what? We might be one of the, the only countries that appreciate honest football though. Yeah. When I say honest, I mean like like on a Sunday to watch Sunderland versus Everton and Bro, it's rainy. Yesterday I like, watched, you know Manny, the YouTuber? Yeah. I watched his team play. I just watched, the camera was bent, but I'm still there watching the whole game. That's what I'm about. The rest of Europe don't travel well to away games. Like we, we are, this is like, this is it. You think Spartak Moscow and when they're playing away, they're not going? No, you get a few hundred. Oh, no, I'm, nah, man. My man don't go. Who? Quincy Prunz? Yeah, he don't go. No, they, but the most, they're, they're, they're like in Spain and that, like they, they got, I'm talking hundreds. Bro, like, I was and, in and America, Italian team, Como, bro. They bought, they bought bear youths out, bro. They bun you. To America. Yeah, see, that's Italian culture, that's football. British football culture is the leading way. It's why it's replicated by so many other teams, so many other leagues, and especially the new leagues. American League obviously tries to take a lot from the Premier League. The Saudi League will only look at probably the Premier League and say, that's what we're trying to emulate. But I w again, I, I would worry, I'd, I'd say, look, let's not talk about the Saudi League because we've, again, we've seen China, we've seen the MLS. It, they've got to beat League One, they've got to beat Bundesliga, they've got to beat um, the Belgian Super League, they've got to beat uh, uh, Portuguese Super League. So, so don't worry about Saudi Arabia so much, as much as Premier League. Next season, Newcastle have got a fake sponsor on their shirt, a fake sponsor on their sleeve. What do you mean fake? The sponsor they've got oh, on their shirt- Visit is Avatar. The, their, their sponsor on their shirt is a company <laughs> called Seller, which is 100% owned by the private, the public investment fund in Saudi Arabian government. Public investment, that's, uh, I hate this word public investment fund. It's, like, it's such a secret yeah. to money laundering, yeah. drugs, and um, what's the word? You're illegal, trying to get killed, didn't it? Illegal substance, you can't kill me. It's Ill illegal. Illegal fascism. It's illegal, bro. Yeah, but that's the only way they could cover it, though, isn't it? They have to. Philip is name public 
again, we're, we're, what we choose to believe and what happens by the end of this summer, that's what's going to matter. Because I've never seen I've never seen any of them caps come true. Well, that's the thing. Caps, bans, like the only... Well, that means cap, doesn't it? The problem is it's net spend, isn't it? It's, it's, it's that's the 90% of... 90% is what the current number is. Next year, it will be 80%. Then the next year, it will be 70%. Of what? And that's on... That's in, uh, revenue... Uh, spent on wages, agent fees, and net transfer costs. So that, does that help the owners? That helps the owners. It, it can help the owners because the owners now, if Newcastle want to sell Saint, Saint Maximin for 150 million to Saudi Arabia and then go, we're we spending 150 million on a player, then they can do that because what you have now is what is multi-club ownership. You Manchester City own how many teams? Newcastle, uh, oh, all the, New York City all FC, the Australian ones, and Melbourne FC, even Chelsea. When Chelsea tried to buy, I think his name Ugart from Sport in Lisbon the other day, and they weren't getting anywhere. No, that would just buy the club. We, they they offered to buy the club, buy buy <laughs> shares in the club, and, and buy ownership of the club. <laughs> <laughs> that is big drip. I, like that. I, I love that. That's cold. That's cold. If you're not going to sell soccer to me, I don't let you if you're not going to sell soccer to me, cool. What do you mean? I'll let you in my house, but you want to buy my house now? Yeah. That's literally what happens in, in the ends. <laughs> but yeah, but that's what happens. Yeah. That's robbery. Yeah, that's what, that's it's, mo- it's monogamy. It's not monogamy. That, you know, what, what does monogamy mean? <laughs> it just sounds, it sounds like harsh. Monogamy. It is harsh, it is to harsh. be fair. It it's kind of is monogamous, though. But now, now what's interesting is Newcastle are a club that have underperformed their whole history pretty much, considering the size of them and their fan base and the, the location of the club and everything else. Manchester City is the second team in its city, and it's a big distance between them and the, the first city. Chelsea were an underperforming team who are a London team that ended up putting that money into becoming a highly functioning team internationally. And now we're underperforming. Now you're performing and on the pitch, but financially I doubt you are. Manchester United getting bought by uh, a limitless fund of money means they can do whatever they want. Hey, Michael Jordan, Jay Z, you look come back with your offers, man. Come back. I love money. I would say this. You remember when we had Michael Richards here a few weeks ago? I, I don't remember. Oh, you're gone. How can we forget? Ah! When ta- when Carlos Tevez. <laughs> What's T? His tablet. He's, he's, he needs his tablet. I think, yeah. <laughs> Someone can make his tablet. <laughs> I need his tablet. Uh, we love Mika. He said when, when Carlos Tevez uh, went and abandoned the club, do you remember he was playing golf? He fell out with Manchester <laughs> yeah. and he was gone. That was class. He said we need was, that, man. He we said he was really again. worried, but then he listed the strikers the club had. Balotelli, Aguero. De Zeco. Jekko, and you go, hold on. At one point in Manchester City's history, they had Tevez, Aguero, <laughs> Jekko, Balotelli. Balotelli on the books at the same time. They've, they've thrown so much money at this project. They've got to this point where it's almost like clockwork. The whole thing works and they're it, it developing works. the young players. They, they've got one of the best academies. They, they, the they batter crazy. Manchester United for these players. All these right, young man, players right. go there. Nah, they do, they do. Ain't got to talk like that though. What? Watch your mouth. At that point, there's no worry about let's go and get a Saudi manager. They're just going. Oh, you can imagine Newcastle were going right. Let's start making our plan for how we're going to get Pep and Qatar are probably going. Let's make our plan for how Be we're going to get. Be careful. The Pep. next move, though. The next move is, I'm Saudi Arabian. I'm a billionaire. I buy a club. Now I'm thinking, hold on. I've got a couple of nephews that play for these teams. I'll put him over at Newcastle because I own Newcastle. Oh my God! Have you heard about Darren Fletcher's sons? No. Oh, they're at City. And they're coming United. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Darren Fletcher said, look, the Qataris are coming. Let's go. We're going to see Saudi Arabian players in the Prem. Darren Fletcher's twin sons have been at City. They're coming United now. Because oh. the money's coming in. Do you, remember, do you remember there was a player, an all championship manager? He was a wonder kid, Omar Abdurrahman. Do you not remember? He yeah, had the bushy I hair. Him, yeah. Left footed. They called him like the Saudi Arabian message. Do you remember what him? Team? It, but I think he was actually from UAE. I don't remember him. But he played for one of the, those big teams over there. He's going to be in the Prem now. And you can't buy him in terms of manager for So where do we, how do we get the money? To us. Us. We just got to hang around. <laughs> what are you do? Just hanging around. Looking for a buck. Yeah, but see, if you get if you get a million pounds now, how, how much are we getting out of this? You? Well, 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 well listen, I'm sitting here at PK Miles, Dan, Jordi, and myself with Lumos and Dazza backstage. You better talk up. How much are you giving us? Me and Poet will have a chat. What? We'll look at the mill. We'll see what's left. Boys? We're getting, we're getting bumped. <laughs> let's do a room Nevers. Let's go Saudi boys. <laughs> now let's go play golf. Let's go play golf. Let's just go play golf. I've been I've been saying, look, if the Saudi want Saudi filthy, and I, culturally I don't think they do want Saudi filthy, but if they did want Saudi filthy. Okay. I'll go. 
do you know Jay Buffroyd? Uh, yeah. You know Jay, Buff- Jay yeah. Buffroyd? He was, under, he was a wonder kid at Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, spent a lot of time around England, Cardiff. Isn't he from Izzy? Yeah, he is. He uh, is from Islington, yeah. He played for Perugia in the 90s. Uh, 2000s, actually. Perugia, yeah, where's Perugia, that? 2003, 2004. It has to be. It's in Italy. Perugia. Peru. <laughs> he said it has to be. <laughs> Peru. Yeah, it has to be. <laughs> he played in the same team at Perugia as the son of Gaddafi. What? Gaddafi, yeah? Gaddafi had a son that could play ball. Well, he played for Perugia. Whether or not he could play ball was a different conversation. Are you allowed to talk about Gaddafi, by the way? Of course, he's finished. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Him. General Gaddafi. <laughs> what did you just call him? General Gaddafi. That's his good name. His name's Gaddafi, but General Gaddafi. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's you a mean? thing. That's a thing. General Gaddafi. Are you sure? Google it. But Manchester City now are due to have this Premier League investigation wrap up. Yeah. There's points deductions being talked about. I would love it if City and United and Chelsea got relegated for this uh, money laundering. Oh, I would love us, it, Mars. There's no money. Hey, Roman Abramovich is refusing to sign off on the bread. He's not running the bread. Abramovich ain't running the bread. I'll be honest. I think this is a series. And I'll watch it. <laughs> There's a lot happening. It's huge. It was a witch hunt. This is like succession. But if it's successful... It's like the chase. If it, if it does work... <laughs> <laughs> if it does work, I think they should scrap international football. Oh, but scrap it anyway. We're talking about is football done. Players are signing for international oh, teams now. Oh, oh, oh. What do you mean what signing you mean? for international teams? Like, Falara and Balogun just scored his first goal for oh, the USA. Oh, he, was caught, he was asking England, he was asking countries, who should he play for? He just scored his first goal for America. A black Armenia. Guy, Armenia got a black DM. I thought I, was watching, there for six years. I thought I was watching a club, I thought it was a club team. I'm like, Armenia, the, the, huh? Nigerian again. Bro, France played Gibraltar this weekend. Well, UEFA are the ones under the most threat. They're the ones. They're the ones under the most threat in this situation. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, if the UEFA lets the Saudis in, they, that's UEFA, when it's. But that's, UEFA wouldn't have a say in that. I'm sure UEFA, oh, UEFA now are, are so up against it in terms of power, because they could not tell Manchester United, Man City, Arsenal, any of these big teams. They couldn't tell them what to do, where to go on anything. They could bully Barcelona. They could bully Juventus. They could bully AC Milan. They could not bully a Premier League team now. So with the new format change, which is coming where it's one big league and all this nonsense that's coming. This is their last roll of the dice. Try and prevent a Super this League. This is it. This is it. Yeah. I don't know. They got lucky last time, you know? Yeah, they, they did. They actually got lucky. Very lucky. FIFA backs the Super League. I was just about to say, I was just, yeah, transition. You, you, you're great at this. You were great at this. I was just about to say, <laughs> could FIFA come out of nowhere and say, you know what, boom, we're going to make no our No one own. needs FIFA. Seb Blatter. The Premier League doesn't need FIFA. No. You, you know you are about to start their own World Cup? Do you know where his eyes are? What do you mean? Who told you this? I would. I, I seen it. What do you mean? He told me this. I haven't seen the UEFA. Uh, ch- you you uh, haven't got TV then. What? You haven't seen the what? UEFA World oh, Cup. Oh, I think about yeah, It hasn't started. It hasn't they started they, yet. They no. won it. It's FIFA World Cup, isn't it? But it's going. What? FIFA World Cup is gonna go, and they're gonna change it to you. No, there's gonna be two World Cups. So I should play RoboCop Seven. And as in, in what year? Everyone. I don't, why, I don't know. <laughs> why? Why is everyone doing this? Because of the money. The capitalism. Yeah, but the, but there's but there's more. Like, we're at the end of something now. We're the end of. The UEFA era, where the end of the Champions League era, where the end of the Serie A versus La Liga versus Premier League era, it feels like we are at the end of that, and something new's coming. The Premier League's got all this money, they got all these billionaires, they got all these royal families, they got all these eyeballs, and at the same time, Newcastle United can spend X amount of money on this player's wages, and then he goes and gets injured for Sweden. He goes and gets injured for Spain. But scrap it, man. So UEFA should just let Saudi in then. I don't, you're obsessed with this idea. No, because <laughs> no, 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 bro, because if they, they, that's the only thing that's stopping them from No, but the in. Saudis are not saying UEFA, come, 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 well, I'll give you something. They're like, yo, come yeah, out like of that. it. The, the Saudis are like, we can't wait for UEFA to be gone. They're like, come out of it. So the Super, League, up, Super League will have Saudis in it. Yeah. So all these, let's say you're playing for Man City, you're getting 500 bags a week. Me, I don't play for Man City. I'm just a spectator, working class man. I paid 160 pounds electric bill yesterday because I put the fans on because yeah. it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Surely that comes down off me and goes higher for those guys in this country, right or wrong. They should pay 90% tax, like I said earlier, Geordie. They should pay electricity bill, even if they're not using electricity. They should use, pay ga- they should pay everything so high okay. and we pay low because we're working I class. love the theory. I love the theory and that's called trickle down economics and it's supposed to work, but it doesn't work. It, to it to a whatever degree it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. Mm. But 
14. It doesn't work, right? <laughs> But the thing you've also got in that I can, situation. I can't love that one, guy. Uh, one second, man. I'm learning here, bro. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but Savage Dad just said 14 and. Fuck. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just getting his food. Calm down. Yeah, but Dan, man, relax. That was the Champions League of numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, 14 was a big number. Specs. The reason that companies like Starbucks in this country don't pay tax or don't pay a fair amount of tax is because they employ so many people and they import and they trade so many goods that the money in the economy is huge and that to overtax them of, in the opinion of Starbucks and their lobbyists would make Starbucks say, we're gonna shrink in size. We're not gonna pump as much money into the economy. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. So when you talk about say a Erling Haaland earning 600,000 pounds a week at Manchester City, you're thinking, what would the taxation be? But what the go UK government is saying is if we tax 10% on 600,000, I'm not saying is what they're doing, but there are all a lot of loopholes. If we charge 10% of 600,000, we're bagging 60K, easy. And you're gonna spend more, you're gonna get loads more of these guys. So we're gonna make it an incentive and people are gonna wanna come here because they're only getting a 10% tax. So where it should be a 50% tax, somehow they're finding these loopholes, these little ways to make it so that they're paying less and less and less tax. So, so it doesn't, as you as a normal human being, it's fine. The only impact that football can have on you is that a former owner of Chelsea can be friends with a leader of a country. It's more likely- Cause a war and then- Here, here's, the, here's the problem, yeah? Every, most people is gonna be in contact with someone who can cause a war. Yeah. At that level. Yeah. Even at this level though, street war. We're in, we're in, we're, we're exactly. in- Exactly, we're in constant contact. I think Stan Kroenke starting street wars. No, nah, but I'm saying as us as, as a collective, like he can phone his Essex friends, he can phone his Northwest friends, like he could start a war. He phones lines right now, he starts a war. If Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and the Emirati have any kind of beef, any kind, if they're ops at all, then Qatar sitting and waiting, buying Harrods, which they own, buying the Shard which they own, Jesus. more property in London than the British royal family they own, and waiting. What football club are we gonna buy? Newcastle, dead. Arsenal, allow it. They're gonna take Man Harring City. Nah. They're gonna take Harringay. They said, we'll take Manchester United. So have, have they done what the Russians allegedly did? What, what did the Russians allegedly do? They're doing the same thing. Yeah. What's that? All the Russian billionaires were here. They was, the oligarchs. And now everyone's asking, So why? This is where it is mucky. And then they bought Abramovich bought because Chelsea. Because there is, there is that. That has been mentioned that this, go this government is begging these investors to come to this country, buy property, buy companies, buy football clubs and everything else because they want their money. They want it just flooding in. They, they're not asking too many questions. But if they can turn around as they did with Roman Abramovich one day and just be like, you know what? We disagree with you. We can afford to take the hit. We're going to side with these guys. Can they take Manchester United back? Can they take Manchester City back? Can they take half of Salford back? Not Can they take what? half of Rochdale back? Not without, not without war. Oh, Miles, go on, talk to me. Al Nasir, yeah, they get allowed into the Champions League. Oh God, we're back there. No, no, I just wanna, just Tigo, is, Tigo, Tigo, it's yeah, making yeah. sense, it's scary. They say, Miles, we want you to play for us, 400 bags. Arsenal say they want you to play for them, 150 bags. <laughs> Who are you gonna play for? Put me in a predicament. You know what he's playing for? This guy's an Arsenal lover, man. No, but he's frugal. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Cause we don't get paid here, so I have to be frugal with my money. This um, is a man, this is a man still in his job. Yeah. He is going remember, to play for Arsenal, bro. Nah, I'm going, I don't, where, where, where am I going? Remember our parents told us, money's the root of all evil. So think about, think about this hard. Our parents said that, did they? <laughs> Mine didn't, boy. What? Your parents must be young, they must be in their 30s. Adopt me, I say. Go on, nah, go, go on. I'm going to <laughs> oh, nah, go Saudi. I'm going, for the, I'm going for the bread. I would, Arsenal don't owe me anything. So boys, is this what life's about, bread, yeah? Yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. It's all about bread? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Liverpool, Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, all these other teams, they're, they're doomed then, because would they ever do business with That's the Saudis? That's what this whole conversation is about, is you know are what? they doomed? I want to see, I want to see like, like an Mbappe go to one of them teams and then they just loan him out straight away. Mate, you can't do that. Can't Why do can't it. you do that? No, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, no, say, say, yeah, it's illegal. Because a team from his club, if I own two clubs, yeah. I was loan him to this, this team, 
and loan him to my, my Premier League team, basically. Yeah. Allegedly. So they, it's illegal. Can't do that. Uh, yeah. That's what Lampard did. Uh-huh. In the Prem. Oh, that's Man City. He did that Man City, didn't it? What, yeah, like what? Like what? Rubbish. What did he do? They've got rid of that he now. He signed for New York City and then went on loan to Manchester City. Yeah, but I want to see them do do that with a mad like a mad maneuver like that or like let's say like Mendy goes to that team and then they send Mendy well look, to be fair home. I did read that Messi could go and loan to Barca because Inter Miami and them are friends but Barcelona put out a salty statement so I doubt that's gonna happen but that's that's everywhere though this is what I'm saying though like even in non league the leagues that I play in yeah even right. the leagues that I play in, bro, you have teams like, let's say, Billy Ricky did it one year. Oh, my. Where they came yeah. in, they just pumped in Francesca money, like, them. getting Jamie O'Hara's and these guys, like, it's part of the game. Like, if you've got the money, like, Jermaine Pennant, bro, if you've got the, if you've got the money to do it, bro, but the thing is, it doesn't always work, bro. Look how long it's taken City to win the Champions League, like, so it, it's not, it's never, it's not a guarantee, it's not a guarantee. I think it's, a, I think that was a short journey from when they kick this off what's that 15 years really yeah but they did, they, you know what i would say it wasn't a short journey it was shorter than your journey yeah. because you still have never been the best team in the world yeah city are the best team in the world uh chelsea yeah, have yeah. never been the best team in the world yeah <laughs> no, no no that's facts i hope this all goes well because life is is about to get into trouble life is about to get into trouble <laughs> brother there's they, they're speaking about there was 12 helicopters in the sky the other day well, two days ago. What helicopters? This again. There was 12 helicopters together. And I've never seen 12 helicopters together in the sky. In a formation or? Was it UFOs or was it helicopters? Yeah. So that means UFOs, because they were talking about alien attack. Listen, I've said it for time. We're not alone here. As in, there are now AI, there are now people walking amongst us every day that won't be genuine humans. Mizzy. PK. Speak Central C. Billy the Goat. I, I spice. You cannot tell me. We see. Look, everything we watch in films eventually comes to life. It's true. Star Trek. They had um, iPads like thirty years ago. Never, ever, 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 ever watch Star Trek. I'm saying the Men in Black. Men in Black. The guy that's in the store is an alien. So there's plenty of people. What about Lord of the Rings? I ain't seen no one from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Frodo. Gandalf. I saw Gandalf. I actually saw Gandalf in uh, Manchester Piccadilly. And Gandalf came to see my play. I've got a picture with him. And that's a fact. <laughs> He came to see my play. <laughs> We've discussed a lot. Does anyone have just a, a quick solution? Just buy, buy the whole league, man. Who? So what, one owner should buy the whole league. He, he's dying for some of this bread. That's <laughs> all it is. He's dying for some of this I need bread. Some of I it. mean, the guys that are complaining <laughs> need, to link, link, need to link up. They need to just make hella groups What's to that? compete. They have those. Yeah, but bro, the, so t- the teams, the so teams that were, the teams that have been pushing hardest for Manchester City to get relegated, yeah. Arsenal, no, no, Liverpool, no, no, Arsenal, 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 Arsenal. Oh no, 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 no. Arsenal. Let me land. I not never... fans, not fans. Not, uh, you're irrelevant, Miles. Yeah, weirdly, yeah, yeah, in this multi-billion-pound business yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal. I never wanted Manchester, to get no points reduction. Nothing. Manchester United, nope. Liverpool. If and you want to win it, win it. Those are the teams that are most interested. Something tells me Manchester United might pull out of that group. Yeah, we're out. 1,000 teams. Well, it doesn't have to be, well, 1,000 teams is the same problem. It doesn't end. Everyone plays over three times. We'll be here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <For a life. laughs> we'll just stay there all season, just waiting. No winners. That would be so sick. 1,000 teams. Dude. What's funny though is that two years, two years ago, the talk was about European Super League. That was one transfer window, you know. We get one transfer window for 1,000 games. 1,000 games. Two years later, it doesn't feel like European Super League is the conversation. It feels like Premier Super League. It feels like cut six teams out. No relegation, all English teams. Now nah, we need relegation, man. Does it feel like we're looking at a Premier League Super League breakaway? Because what do Barcelona and Real Madrid really bring to this party? What do Paris Saint Germain really bring to this party? Now, Real Madrid bring every heritage. Yeah. It makes it sexy. You gotta make it sexy, bro. Heritage and ten pound will buy you a ticket to North London. Like what? what it's not worth anything. Well, we are the Super League, bro. Premier League is the Super League, bro. We don't need those but guys. But something has to change because this year, Newcastle, Man United, and Man City should finish in the top four and it shouldn't even be a question. Yeah. And then Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, Brighton, all these guys, they can try. Don't put us in the same. Don't say Brighton off the Didn't that. even mention Chelsea. Chelsea as well. But Chelsea, oh, come on, man. You, you got some yeah, fixing to do. Yeah, you lot are concussed. So what happens if Man United, Man, so is Man United 100% getting this shake? They're getting Mbappe, you're mad. Getting, Why are you, what's wrong with Man United are getting <laughs> Saka. They're getting Saka in two years. That's mad. Because if they get Saka, then I'm finished. 
<laughs> yeah, but it's changing because we're getting Declan Rice now. Are you? We don't know, you know. You ever see, you see Man City get transfer bids rejected? Never. Man City go to you with the money that you want and they go, we've been talking about this for months. We don't need to do this in public. But Arsenal was still trying to run like a football club from the 90s that's not owned by a shake billionaire. Mm. England, England break away. They start their own Champions League. But that, that, that was a very uh, fun, nuanced conversation about capitalism. Hey, and someone opened the door. Lumos is outside. Again? Hey, <laughs> Lumos, 14. 14. Miles' favourite number. Thank you for coming, Specs. Jordi, Dan. Thank you for having me. Miles, PK, let us know in the comments if you've got a solution or if you're just happy that Man United are getting their money now. Oh, sorry, because Lippy ain't here. Sibling!